Welcome back to the channel everyone. This is easy. Finally get to start the video. Took all day to get going. Been doing a ton of stuff today in Legion of Many. This uh, this attack right here is by Rhino Come On. He's gonna have the first attack. We uh starting to attack each other, getting ready for the war tomorrow. And uh Ryan's a, he's an awesome player. First one to go to put up a great attack on the builder base war and check out check out what these bombers do. This attack right here, I'm calling this the, the Jaya Bombarch. <laughs> I don't know what to call anything anymore. But this is Giants, Bombers, and Barbarians. So it's not really a barch, is it? So I don't know what the hell to call it. Just take that back. <laughs> so anyway, I didn't realize that whenever you use Bombers in the back side of your attack, they actually eliminate every single wall along with the rest of the base. So it's pretty awesome. So now, I mean, when we destroy bases, we are utterly destroying the entire base. As he takes out the last defense right here, or the last ground defense, only has the bombers left. Takes out the, the last uh, air defense, and that's it. He leaves two bricks up. They spared him two bricks. Not a total shame attack. <laughs> so, next up is uh, Double Down. He, Double Down is number two in the world. Right yeah, number two in the world uh, in the builder hall, in the builder base. Uh, stayed up there for a little while, then came back down to reality. Is what I call it. I guess he had to sleep because I think you actually have to clash all day long and not sleep to stay in the top ten. But a uh, great player. He's using what I call the night slap. Uh, this is the witches and the giants. And you know, this is my first really good look at the night witch, and I w I wasn't sure what to expect. I know that I. I've seen the Night Witch in uh, Clash Royale. She was overpowering in Royale, really. Didn't know what it was going to be like in, in Clash of Clans. And was kind of worried because the regular witch, one of her benefits is that the skeletons can shield her from all the ground defenses, like the cannon, like the archer tower. And these bats don't do that. They'll, they'll shield her from the, from the archer tower, but really, uh, you know, she doesn't get any shielding from the cannon. The, the cannons are pretty tough. But. The, the, she spawns so many bats they're so fast and the ground defenses can't defend against them so the bats take them out pretty quick anyway and uh, just like the I guess at, at when the night witches were introduced to clash that's when the regular witches started to do the burst effect when they died they burst into skeletons the night witch does the same thing she bursts into bats so as soon as the last witch goes down which I believe happens here in a minute Gets sprung into the base, uh, gets killed by the cannon, bursts into bursts into the bats. The bats take out the rest of the base. Uh, another awesome attack by Double Down. Now, the rest of the attacks are all done by Ezekiel, uh, my account. And uh, well, yeah, let's let's get into this first. This is the lineup. This is the lineup we're gonna have starting tomorrow. Uh, you'll see we have a great lineup tons of Town Hall 11s now our clan is not like the clan we're attacking shadow fighters our clan has 11s 10s mixed in uh, there's more 11s down bottom uh, they, they have Legion of Many has paid very close attention to their base weight these are not defenseless bases so we're not going to call ourselves an engineer clan although the base weight is a, is a big concern and all I think all clans that have 300 plus wins You'll see, you'll notice that they have 11s down low, 10s down low, and that's just the way that, that you have to build your clan if you want to be competitive at that level. Um, you know, our clan has just over 100 wins, and we were a very conventional clan. We didn't start really looking at base weight until we started running into engineer clans that were heavily engineered, that had five or six defenseless bases, and, you know, it was a frustrating event. Uh, anyone who's seen my, <laughs> my videos that I may have deleted by now because I can't I can't actually stand to watch it. <laughs> Don't ever get mad and make a video. <laughs> okay, live attack. Got to do a bunch of live attacks. Now this base here, anyone who's in Builder Hall 5 or Builder Hall 6 has seen this particular base in many different forms. I've seen this base up in the corner. I've seen it in the dead center of the of the map. It is all over the place. This is a great base, actually. Uh, I, I guess it's so effective that everyone has made a copy. I'm sure about 20% of all Builder Hall 5s have this as one of the three bases. 
I'll, I won't do it just because I, I don't want to be like everyone else but man it's tempting because this is not an easy base to three star um, now you noticed ma um, level 10 baby dragons so let's talk about that for a second the dynamic of having max troops in the builder base is not the same as having max troops in the, in the home village uh, my defenses are not nearly as strong as my offense and I kind of followed the same pattern that I have been on the regular base just because of how effective that really is. Well, the way they match you is much different. They assign much more base weight to the troops than they do in the home village. I, kn I know this for a fact because I've been building the um, Clash Made Easy website and on every page, on every defense, and on every troop, we also list the, they call it raw weight, I, I don't know if that's just war weight backwards inside the API, I'm not sure, but uh, I call it war weight, and the war weight of some of these troops, I've had to really just scratch my head and wonder if the information I have is right, because they get up in the tens of thousands on some of these troops, and I'm, I'm thinking that that is right, and that they're assigning so much base weight to these troops, so no one can max out their baby dragons, for example, and leave their defenses down at a pretty low level and just go and wipe every single base because um, I, although I may not show it I've, I've already edited most of the video and I'm not sure if I show um, what the other player does but at least half of the attacks that I've three starred they've three starred me right back and I have sat there and and this is my advice if you're getting three starred let's say if you're doing just what I'm doing I'm three starring over and over and over because I have these level 10 baby dragons that are just awesome and half the time or more that three star me back so what I've been doing is every after every attack I watch how they attack and I'm not gonna move things around on every single attack but what I do is I look for patterns if I see people coming into the base the same way if I see a pattern if I'm seeing uh, you know that there are certain attacks that are very popular people like to use Giants and then follow them up with barbarians and archers uh, because that's such a popular attack on my base and uh, look what we have here another base design that looks very similar to the, the attack before last <clears throat> I didn't just go and find these attacks. This is just uh, you know Another this is another one. I, I attacked so damn many of them um, And now I forgot what I was saying <laughs> Wow, I suck Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay, so uh, so I'll watch the attack of my base. I'll watch what the giants do. I'll watch what the archers and barbarians do. I I watch how they group together, where they end up going. If they attack in a similar fashion and the troops do something re that that they're repeating over and over, it's kind of like a, an experiment. You know, if if they can repeat something, then I can watch it and fix it. So I've been moving things around. And I ended up coming up with a fairly good base that's kind of, I have a square in the middle and then two rectangles on both on on the top right and the bottom left. And then another compartment on the bottom right. And I know I'm describing it, not showing, but basically what I've done is I've split the base into four different sections. I have at least one defense in every section and I have the cores just slam full with everything. And that has worked out finally. But before that, I'm telling you, I... I got three starred almost as much as I was three starring, and I was three starring almost every single attack. So my my trophies weren't really benefiting from all the great attacks because I, because I didn't build my defenses as well as my offense, and the game punished me for that because they're paying very close attention to the base weight of these troops. They're not going to let us build up our our troops and not build up our defenses and give us a huge advantage. They're not going to match us against someone weak. Because we have weak defenses, they're going to let us get our asses beat for it. <laughs> Which I guess that's appropriate. So here's another attack. Now, level 1, I got the level 1 hero. Finally got him to level 2. Right after I made the video. Uh, <coughs> starting to lose my voice. been talking too much. Imagine that. Uh, so, what you try to do here is... When you're using this attack, you know, it's all baby dragons, but it's not a mass baby dragon or a spam. I say it is a mass baby dragon, but it's not a spam baby dragon. I'm not putting them all in at one time. Uh, because you want to use their ability. You want to use that enraged ability. In order to do that, you have to keep them as separated as possible. Um, I also have delayed um, entries on most, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. And what I'm doing is kind of lining them up. I'll, I'll put in three or four baby dragons, see which ones are getting shot at. Wait till it goes down and then kind of put one in right behind it in the same area if it's in a good area and um, 
and just kind of keep on going like that. Get fresh troops. I don't put them all in at once because what can happen is they'll group up. And if I have two or three, I end up grouping up near that air bomb, and he and he manages to hit him. Another live attack. I mean, and he manages to uh, if they group up and the air bombs manage to hit all three of them at once. All three can go down, and that's a big disadvantage, and that's how you can lose on these attacks. So I've been putting them in, spreading them out, keeping them enraged as much as possible. Now they're doing times two damage, and it's very hard to stop these baby dragons once they're doing times two damage. Uh, now, build the hall six. It has a lot more defenses. It has more defenses on the ground that you have to plow through. It also has the roaster. And then it also has another level up for the air defenses or the, or the firecrackers. So it gets really interesting once you get to Builder Hall 6. It is tough for me to 3 star a Builder Hall 6 that's well upgraded with these baby dragons. Now I know they go to 12 I believe on Builder Hall 6. And I, I, I'm going to need that uh, level 12 baby dragon I think to consistently 3 star at Builder Hall 6. Because I've tried these Builder Hall 5 baby dragons and... and um, you don't see many replays from Builder Hall 6 in the video. <laughs> Although this is one here, but these, a lot of these defenses were not upgraded yet. And everyone, I'm not the only one that's finding out the hard way that if you don't upgrade your defenses, you may 3 star with those great troops you have, but they're just going to 3 star you right back and that, that attack's going to be wasted. So, you know, wasted as far as the loot, the trophies, uh, an attack's never really wasted. Because uh, you get the experience from it. Win or lose or draw, you get the experience from it. So, you know, no attacks really just absolutely wasted. Unless you just totally suck on it and don't do anything. Which, I've never done that. <laughs> so, they tried the old, uh, put trash buildings in the corners. I, you know, because the bases aren't full yet, you know, these bases are, are probably, I don't know, at, at, at Builder Hall 5, um, they're about half full. So there's there's a lot of time left in these attacks. So if you're thinking about putting things out in the corners right now, I, I think it's a, it would be a rarity for you to catch someone uh, and, and have those things in the corner actually pay off. I, maybe they, maybe if your defense is good enough that they dwindle down to nothing. But most of the time, if I, I identify... A bunch of buildings in the corners I'll just put something on them first and then time it to where they're all coming to the middle at the same time okay here we are last attack of the video another really popular design for the, the builder hall 5 you'll notice that they have a big opening in the middle of the base and what they're really trying to do is tempt you to come in to the to the core of the base first and if you put in ground troops they will just they'll go around the outside they'll take out those trash buildings and they'll end up coming into the middle i'm sure there are giant bombs spring traps and everything and then you'll end up hitting that crusher next thing you know uh, your tanks are, are are crushed and um and you're crippled pretty much but you know attacking with air troops you have to take this base in a specific way as well you would think you might want to overpower uh, the uh, air bombs, but you really don't. I've attacked this base several different times. The most effective way is save that, save those air bombs till last. Start off, and in this case, it's the top right hand side of the base. Work your way through that first half of the base. Save those uh, air bombs till last, and then I then I kind of start off in the corners. Start picking away at those uh, trash buildings on the corners. And then as the air bomb starts throwing bombs up towards the front of the base, in that case the front, the top right, then you'll bring in troops from behind it and try to snipe it out from behind. So, Legion of Damage. Nice little name. Gonna have the big war. It's gonna start on Sunday. Well, we're gonna have several videos of the pre-war and the actual war itself. So... I'm looking forward to it. I know the damage is looking forward to it. Everyone's getting excited. Everyone's building up for it. Don't forget about the website, guys. I've been working on this thing constantly. It should be live by next weekend. It has every defense, every offense. It shows base weight on everything. It has everything you can imagine. I'm trying, trying to leave no stones unturned on this. Um, so go check it out as soon as it's ready. I will make sure everyone knows I'm going to hit everyone up that's subscribed. Speaking of that, sub to the channel. Got over 100. My goal was to get 1,000 in the first year. 
So we're about halfway through the year and we're at 100. Uh, not surprised, but I'm very thankful for you guys that have subbed. I, I get a lot of positive feedback. I just feel really lucky to be able to do this and to get so, so many nice people say such nice things. They must not know me at all because, you know, I suck. Anyway, <laughs> thanks, thanks everyone for coming by. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.